Hey, this is Danny Loker, and I'm here to interview my old friend Shane Embry. This is the Obscene Extreme TV Maryland Death Fest edition. So, Shane. Yes. You bastard. Um, what? So, um, anyway, um, you were here. You've, you've played Maryland Death Fest with uh, Napalm Death and Bruharia. Bruharia will, will be playing Obscene Extreme, but right now we're going to talk about Napalm. So. You guys have been uh, pretty busy lately. You put out a new album recently. Uh, you you tell it. What's it called? Utilitarian. It's a very it's a, it's a long word, which I can spell and say, but it's a pain in the ass to say it at the same time. But yes, we've been doing that. We've been touring. You know, like every weekend is, is that kind of thing. We go out to France, Germany, Slovakia, whatever, and that's that's what we've been doing. And over here, this is actually the first time that we've been here for three years. So. First time in the States in a long time. And we've, yep, that's it, really. Yep, you guys work very hard. Well, I mean, Napalm does so many live shows a year. You guys stay so busy. How do you find that the inspiration to keep playing extreme grindcore every night? Because I've done it too, and sometimes you have a headache or not enough sleep. And where do you summon this energy? I think possibly because it's, for me, I've always wanted to do this since I was a kid. So to be playing shows live and that's all, that's all, all I've ever actually wanted to do really. So, you know, that's kind of why, and, and the same with the other guys, you know, they, you know, you, you grew up with heavy metal or grindcore or punk, whatever, and you're very passionate about it. So I think that kind of makes you want to play every day. I would, I would agree with that because we're kind of fuck ups. We don't do anything, you know. We can't have normal lives. We're getting old. We don't care, and we don't give a shit about that. So, this is what we do because we don't do anything else good. Probably. Would yes. you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree with it's, that. It's too late to get a real job. Yes, <laughs> unfortunately. But who gives a fuck? No. So, um, I, um, I was just told that Napalm Death is going to do a split with the band Converge from Boston, That's which are good, good friends of Brutal Truth. We toured Japan with them, and they're a great band. So, um, can you tell me about that, or like what you're doing for it, and when it's going to be released? It was just, just really, just uh, again, just friends of ours, but a band. Personally, after we we, we re-signed the deal with Century Media, I wanted to do some splits in between the album because. It, just doing albums really is really boring. So converge with one band, and I, I emailed Jacob. Was hey, let's do you want to do a split? He's like, yep. And then later on in the year, we have, we have a split with Melvin's as well, and it's just fun to do, basically. I would agree. Yes. Since this is Obscene Extreme TV, and Napalm Death has played men, has played Obscene Extreme. I just wanted to ask you what you thought about the Obscene Extreme Festival because my experience there is that it's fucking amazing. That's like really it, free. It, it's possibly the the best festival that I've ever been to. It's really good. It's you you forget you're in a band and that's that's kind of the problem. So you end up drinking too much beer and you can't play properly. But you know, but everyone enjoys themselves and it's it's a lot of fun and everyone's just like on, on a good level. It's it's a killer festival, really. Kind of like this, but better, you know. It's a good one. And you're basically a pretty busy guy. I mean, you play in a bunch of bands, some of which I play in. Sometimes I'm just like uh, helping you out when you're not there, but I mean, we're getting old, but we don't give a shit. We play in lots of bands. I mean, how's the feeling? Like, how do you manage to um, find the time to do all the bands you play in and make the time without going crazy or ask your friend to play bass? I don't know. It, uh, I, I, have a, I have a very patient wife, I guess, and uh, and that's about it, really. I think. And you and you and you, and you make time for for making music because that's what you love. That's that's what you're into. And even when you say you, you're gonna go, you're gonna go chill out and go, oh, I'm gonna take two months off. You can't because your head goes all fuzzy and you want to make riffs and 
you know it's always time for music really you know it's what we were talking about before that's all we do well and you know it's either that or get a job yeah pretty much and I don't want to get a job I have a job it's horrible fuck that no I couldn't do anything apart from stacking boxes that's about all I could do that'd be the perfect job for me oh there's a good boxes one two three four five no. mm. this has been Dan, Lel Dan Lilker for Obscene Extreme TV Maryland well, Deathbest it's, it's actually his fault that I actually got into Grand Corps in the first place so. do you want to talk about that yeah we can do okay let's talk about the Crab Society North and how influential that was and nuclear so SOD this man was very influential on my life this and actually to meet him and to be friends now is I can't actually quite describe that without being silly so. this wasn't supposed to be part of the interview but um sorry but there you go that's all right well I mean we've been friends for a quarter century and uh you know um when you find like-minded people who want to do what you do and don't give a fuck like I do then that's great okay thank you yeah, got that please yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The sentimental shit doesn't have to be on there it should be on there well that, that bit about the fact well, yeah Nostrovi. Yeah.